Hello friends, welcome to TechFresh. Now today we will be dealing with the new session with the hands-on the Drupal CMS. So we have already covered the Drupal installation part in the last blog. So I'll give you the reference of the last blog in the comment section, description section. So I'll today I'll go through the all configuration of the Drupal on installation. So here is the final Drupal installation where it look and feel will be the same when you install first time. And these are the menu you will get it: content, structure, appearance, extend, configuration, people, reports, help. And this is the manage shortcuts and the the user which has been logging here and the edit button. So yeah, this is the same uh, structure of the Drupal. So I'll explain everything. Uh, means like uh, hands on, like uh, what are the many contents, and in detail I'll be uh, serving one by one each and every many. So I uh, let's start with the content. Yeah, content. Uh, basically this menu will be holding all the content which you will upload on your cms and it will be available on this if you you can add the content you have the comment section also you have file section where all you can have the all the files and you have all one of more section where you can filter the content on the basis of content type public status languages if you are using your site is configured with the different languages and filter and you can uh, have a operation on that like delete uh, delete the content and same thing same thing with the comments right now we have comments is also a, you can uh, have a comment published and published and review the comments here and files you can control here so files like jpeg pdf all the files go you have you can control you can view filter out from here now let's go to the structure part of the drupal cms so structure basically declares like what is your structure of your cms it has a block layout comments type contact form content type display modes menu taxonomy view these are the very basic first uh, things you will see in the structure uh, structure format and i'll go each and every uh, part of that but i am right now i'm going through a just an overview of the menus where what are the things are present appearance where you will deal with the theme of the website right now default theme will be Bartik theme is installed and you will have updates like any new updates are there you have settings for the default theme like uh, Bartik theme and seven themes there is a global setting so you can go through all those settings and you can set the administrator theme also let's say like right now the administrator theme is seven set you can change the administrator theme okay so these are the appearance part of the means the look and feel part of the Drupal CMS and yeah this is the appearance so now let's go to the extent so when I said in the last blog some of the modules is being installed in the Drupal CMS 42 modules I have sent then you can see this these are the core modules core, core experimental modules fields modules migrations multilingual web services so these are the models already available in the vanilla drupal when you install and you can even extend your functionality uh, even you can extend your functionality uh, um, uh, by installing the extra features of an uh, contributed module like let's say yeah, you can install slick module slick codicil uh, yeah those are the modules you can integrate here and it's already contributed in the drupal.org and 
yeah i would i'm just going through the more just menu part and uh basic look and feel and how you traverse the cms configuration part and let's go to the configuration so you have the admin configuration a lot of configurations are available here you can have the people configuration the account configuration the content authoring configuration uh, let's say development configuration which has a performance logging errors maintenance mode when you want to put up the site maintenance mode configuration signalization we will be deep diving each and every part i'll let you know like configuration import signalizations up uh, key feature of drupal 8 version uh, search and meta tag so the name only uh, defines the method like what is the search functionality and meta tag beta data functionality uh, url ERCs, web services like you know like rs publish the services which you are feeds you generate so those things are already integrated here system basic site settings cons uh, the name only defines like what is cron basic sites like let's say like name email address slogan of the site can be changed from here shortcut what shortcut we have seen here that interface can be directly linked to this yeah media file type file system image styles we will deal with this all this menu image what is image styles image toolkits and regional language like let's say like we are dealing with the multilingual side so those configuration we can have here so yeah we will go there and have every configuration in detail in uh, detailed blocks uh, let's go to the people yeah people uh, as I said like this will hold the user information and with all the information like which roles members the people all the user right now only one user is there which i am i am logged in right now with the drupal username with the administrative roles so you can control these things and permission is also there so permission like let's say like you have three kind of permissions right now anonymous user authenticated user and administrator user so yeah right now i am an admin user so i have all the permission right now and logged in so you can control all the functionality of the permission here for the blog commands configuration manager and many more like everything can be managed here whom to give the permission and whom not to give the permission now now going to the roles for that part uh, right now default functionality for the three roles is being given administrator roles and authenticated user roles and anonymous user so these are the this these roles will be available when you install a vanilla drupal yeah we'll go deep dive on this uh, all the roles and how we can create more roles uh, we will discuss later when we come back to the roles functionality and now this people now go to the report section where you will have this available updates recent blogs fill listed status report top access denied errors top pages not found error top search phrases view plugins so by the names it's there like available updates like the model which have a new releases or something content model have a new release all the updates will show here recent log messages like uh, if you have a log message logger enabled uh, let's say like um, uh, who is logged in you want to track down you can track down here from your field type overview of the field of the type list it will show you a status report of the site this will show you what 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 is the profile you are using and other information top the name is clear top access denied errors it's like 403 pages and this is for the 404 pages and surf what top search phrases is there so those things will be defined here and this is the help section where where you will get the information of about the contributed model big by the model which is being available right now you go, can go through it and it will land up to the d.org site and information about the crons everything the, this is the kind of help section where you can get the information of all the modules and it's like a tour of your modules and the functionality of that yeah
so this was all over view of these uh, menu section and this is just a toggle you can bring this menu here on the left hand side bar or right hand side i'm pretty much like fine with the right hand side but sometimes we switch to the left hand side and as convenient you want to do switch it so that's all and back to site and yeah these are the functionality for the overview of the drupal yeah and just so let please have a comment over the video section and if you do have any question please comment it on i'll explain in the next videos